in Heathfield. Again, I'll start with a reminder of what we're working towards. By now you've done your background and you've done your pattern. So now you're working on your still life, on your tonal drawing that's gonna go on top. Okay, so the third layer, this is when we're going to do a tonal drawing of objects or object that you associate with this period of time. Now, it is completely up to you whether you do one, two, three objects, but what you do need to make sure you are doing is doing these objects in detail. So there's many objects that you can draw. You could draw anything from, think about what you've been doing. You've been spending a lot of time in the house. Could it be an object from your house? Could it be your door? Could it be your front door key? Could it be something, you know, I mentioned before that I've been drinking a lot of tea. Could, you know, you've been drinking a lot of hot chocolate. Could it be anything from maybe you've been reading books, therefore it could be books, you've been playing your computer games, it could be computer remote controls. You might have re-picked up a hobby, therefore you could draw your hobby. It can be any object that you associate with your time in lockdown. So my examples that I've been doing, one of them was my clock and that is because it's about time, it's about the present moment in time, it's about the fact that time that I've not seen my family, the time I've spent at home with my children, the time that I lost my year 11s. So I did a clock on one of them because time was quite important to me. On another one I drew toilet roll just because when this all happened the way everybody went mad for toilet rolls I don't think that will ever quite be forgotten. I don't think I'll ever quite understand it why it either happened. And then the other one I did was hands because hands are featured a lot whether that be in the clap for heroes whether that be in me having to constantly get my children to wash their hands and myself as well. But hands are featured a lot. Now what I decided I wanted to do today was actually a dream catcher. I've seen a few people have mentioned that their dreams during this lockdown period have been quite strange and I know that my children aren't sleeping very well either. Their dreams are because I can hear them talking and so we obviously made some dream catchers and it's about dreaming of the future and hopefully this return to what will be the new normal but hopefully it will be as old for me as close to the old normal as possible you know I still want to be able to travel I still want to be able to hug people so it's about dreams it's about dreams for the future it's about the dreams that are happening now maybe the worries that you're feeling the anxiety so I'm drawing a dream catcher so you can see I started by if I'm going to do a circle I want you to use really an object to draw around because otherwise if you don't get that initial outline right when you start applying your tone it's just never quite going to work because it's always going to be obvious that something's a little bit off and that's probably the fact that it's not a circle. Once I've got my circle right I know I've got to do all the string inside but I wanted to start applying a bit of tonal detail so you could see what I was doing. So I'm aware that a dream catcher especially around the edge of my one here it's where string has been wrapped around so these larger areas here and where the hoops that in a moment when I start drawing it so where all the different string comes pulls from these come from these hoops here but in between here this is actually made of lots of string wrapping around so I'm using lots of line to create that texture to create that pattern I've also got some tone going on so you can see that it's dark around those edges and there's this little bit there where the light is hitting it because it's got a curved surface which means that because the top is closest to my light source that is where it's going to be the lightest. So you can see I'm starting to get this tone and detail on this hoop. Okay, so here I've got my woven pattern. It might need a little bit more um, work into with shadows, but I work on that in a moment when I've got some more detail involved in it. So if I look at the way that the pattern works within this dream catcher, what's actually happening is the thread is being pulled, so it kind of pulls up on every other one of these. So the string kind of comes in, and in a moment I'm going to draw that other piece of string in there, but I'm just going to get this original outside pattern done so it comes into this, it loops in, it comes back out, it gets pulled up again and then it goes into this one, gets looped in, gets pulled up, 
gets looped in, gets pulled up, and it continues like this the whole way around. So I need to draw obviously this the whole way around, but if I just show you the next few steps so you can see where I'm going with this. Then where this gets pulled in here, it gets pulled in because actually, I'll need to use my rubber in a moment, but it's another piece of string that is pulling it in. So you can see that this line here, I obviously need to rub out because this piece of string is going on top of it, but this piece of string is going behind it. And then again, this will go in, but then will get pulled out. So if I bring it down here, and here it gets pulled over that front again. So again, I'll have to rub out the inside of that string to get that pulled in, which will come into here, which again will go down, but would have been pulled out, so I'll need to rub that out. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time working out the pattern on the inside, I will come back in a moment. So unfortunately, you can see my video stopped filming when I got to these tassels that were at the bottom. But I've drawn them on, I rubbed out where on the loop it was and applied the string that wraps over. You can see the bit of strang, string hanging down here in the knot. The string hangs down and goes into the beads that were on there. The beads need tone. I need to look at a circle. You all know with a circle that it's darker on the outside going to light in the middle. So you can see I've sketched out all the details. I'm now going to apply some tone and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, so you can see I started to apply some tone on here. Now what I might do is actually now take my scissors and cut this object out so I can place it onto the background and see how it looks overall and see if there's any areas that need working on. Okay, so here I am with what I believe to be my three final compositions now. You're not working on three. I've only worked on three because if you remember I was trying out different backgrounds for you. So this is my corrugated card one where I ended up doing the pattern of um, the COVID-19 symbol and the face mask. I therefore decided that I wanted this tonal drawing of a hand because this is quite medical. This is obviously about washing your hands but it can also be about not being able to touch loved ones at the moment. Obviously the face mask and the 19. This one here was when I just did the tea and coffee stain background with the rainbow symbol on but I chose to draw for this one the clock to do with tie and also the toilet rolls because I want to remember that and then the last one which was if you had the glue you were able to create a collage behind of a portrait of lockdown and then I decided I wanted to put on the drawing I've just done with you lot of the dream catcher just talking about strange, just strange times and the dreams it's creating and a dream for it to all go back. So this is your next lane. I do need to stick these down. So you will need to stick these down. If you have no glue at all, then you could always um, blue tack it down. Ideally do not put sellotape on top of it. Double wrap your sellotape and maybe put it behind just to hold it in place. We can always glue it when we're back in in school. Please don't just stick sellotape on top. The next layer is going to be our text layer, which will be our final layer. So I'll come back to you soon. Enjoy this task. Think of what objects you could possibly draw. There are many, many possibilities out there. And this is your portrait. This is going to be your piece of history. It will be recorded forever.